Welcome to PSD to HTML5 and CSS3. This video is called Coding the Footer. In this video, we're going to be continuing from where we left off in the previous video, which was coding the content section. In your HTML, you can see that this is the section we just coded up, content. And now we're going to continue on with the secondary call to action section and the footer. We're going to continue, uh, consider this whole section the footer. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit right here. We don't need those spaces anymore. Go down. So this is what we're going to be working with right here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a little space there so we can see. In the design, this is what we'll be coding right here. Whoops. There we go. This section right here, the secondary call to action, and the footer. For the purposes of this lecture or tutorial, we're going to call this section the footer. So let's go back to our HTML and let's jump right in. Within your secondary call to action div, let's start off by adding an H4. And that H4, we're going to put this content right here. Let's copy that from the design, paste that in here. And then after that, we're going to put, you can see here, uh, an input with a submit button. In HTML, we'll put that in a form because that's what it is. And we'll put an input and give it the type of email. HTML5 is pretty great because uh, you can use different types for the input. And this one is going to be an email, so we might as well give it the type of email. After that, we also have another input, which is going to be a button. Input type, uh, it's a submit, actually. So if I were just to save that and paste it, uh, uh, sorry, refresh, you can see here we have an input and a submit button. But we're going to add a little bit more to these uh, inputs here. We're actually going to use an HTML5 placeholder which allows us to put text in the input, kind of like in the design here. Uh, and to, just to give a little bit of direction as to what we want to do with this. So let's put a placeholder and say, enter your email here. That allows the user to know what to do with that input. It's kind of a minimalist approach. Instead of having a label above it and having more text up here saying, enter your email, so on and so forth. We could put it right in the input, saves on space, and it looks quite nice in the design. So there's a placeholder. We're also going to give this input, the submit button, a class, and we're going to give it the class of button, like we did up here. We gave these the class of button because it's going to look like a button once we start styling. And we're going to give it a secondary class here, another one called button small, because that's going to be a small version of the button. So let's save that and let's view our website. There it is, enter your email here. It's good. Uh, and actually, let's change, we don't want this to say submit, we want it to say something like sign up. So let's go um, value. Change the value of this button or submit input. Say sign up. There we go, sign up. So we'll save that, that's good. Now on to the footer. In the design, we have, uh, we have copyright information and we have the navigation menu. So let's do that. Let's put paragraph tag and let's give it the ID of copyright. So we can select it later in our HTML, uh, our CSS3, and style it if we need to. Copyright. Now, to get the copyright uh, symbol, that's another HTML entity. You can, you might remember in the last video when we did the ampersand. Um, this is similar. Uh, to get the copyright symbol, you put ampersand copy semicolon. That'll give you the copyright symbol. 
Let's put the year. Save that. Now let's put the navigation. So since it's going to be the same as the header navigation, we'll just copy this. The only difference is that we have one more link, which is home. Save that. Let's go back here to our website. Refresh. There it is. So there's our footer. This is our secondary call to action section. This is a footer section. Copyright. Here's the copyright HTML entity and the navigation. So we're going to review that. Here's the footer section that we just coded, the secondary call to action with the header and the form with the two inputs. One is the uh, input field where you enter your email. The other one is, in, is a submit button that we've given the class of button and button small and the value of sign up so that it says sign up rather than the default submit text. And then we have the footer using the HTML5 footer tag. We have the copyright information and uh, a nav with uh, a list of links in here. And that is our footer section. So that's all for the uh, adding the content in the HTML. Uh, we're going to be adding more to the HTML as we start styling in the CSS. In the next video, we're going to start uh, we're going to start styling up the site and making it look a little bit nicer. So I'll see you there.